will go between Magical creation of the brake. Uh, we need the brake. I made this bracket out of an angle, steel angle, which obviously I'm gonna have to cut off. This thing will slide onto that pipe and will be, I'll drill a hole right in there simply so I can literally just uh, bolt it in and out whenever I need to remove it. I got the uh, bracket made, I mean, adapter made for the disc brake, and the disc brake is potentially going to be operated by this handle which you can actually get on Amazon for like $40 so it's an actual hydraulic brake that's going to be applied whenever we need to initiate this is pretty much the perfect uh, placement I would say it's all compact it's bolt-in solution uh, I don't want to weld it so it's serviceable I unbolt this pull everything off I can access everything else since I know that the axle is slightly bent before I get a new axle we still want to ride the car drive the car here are the mods I did this so I made this make sure it has slight free play when it catches in is enough for the caliper to catch onto the disc which will be fine and we have a little bit free play to the side so that way if that disc floats it will not actually cause the wheel to prematurely stop or it will not prevent us from making the power that we want let me put the body back on route the wiring i mean the hose the way it should be routed technically speaking and let's see if i can actually get to put the body and position the hydraulic brake once I have the hydraulic brake slightly positioned, I'll mount it and the very last step will be the bleeding the brake. Quite unfortunate that the threads of course are different than what I would like them to be this thread is absolutely different it's thicker thread than what you would see right in there so that's gonna cause an issue of getting this thing in here the only thing left to do is basically go to AutoZone or some other place and see if I can get a fitting like that okay so great news I was able to get uh, hello screw or banjo bolt. It is way too long But most likely it seems to me that I'll have to cut it So that's going to be a little little challenging to cut this and make sure I don't screw up the threads Okay, 
so the position of the brake is not the greatest uh, because of the cabin height and whichever way you want to put it but I want it higher I want it basically right here by the dash so you can easily just grab it yank on it so position that I'm trying to go for is pretty much like in this area right here and then this handle is not long enough uh, I'll double this from left and right hand side pretty much make an extension uh, drill some holes bolt it through and I think I'm gonna be able to place the handle as close to the actual dash as I can so my idea is to just have it like pretty much sitting right here Hydro is going to sit in those four spots right there. Here is my extended handle that I've made just like I intended to do. We are looking at like about here. Still plenty of room to actually be able to steer and some room for the passenger as well in the passenger side. And I'm going also to chop this out to make just slightly more room for the passenger. Okay, so I got it mounted. That was a little bit of pain in the ass, I would say. Uh, for now, I'm gonna leave those zip ties here, simply because when we run the new battery, which will sit in this area, uh, let's get this little piece. Battery will sit pretty much like about here. What I need to do is make a little bit of, of a bridge between the reinforcement. Uh, obviously, I have to clean everything up too, but. The cylinder, I mean the uh, brake is mounted, it sits pretty much close to the dash panel, everything seems to be okay. It's extended 8 inches from that point to that point. Obviously that literally that extension is nothing but a few inches, but it's just enough. Some little changes that I've done, uh, currently this bracket was not here which allowed for this to kind of float but that was causing issues. So right now we have it set up that it's still unboltable, one bolt here, one bolt here and it comes off but it makes the whole brake assembly sturdy. I believe that the problem I have is either with the, cylinder, uh, with the hydro, it's pushing too much pressure into the caliper that's only for ATV not for a car. And maybe that's what's causing issues because it tends to I mean you had a few situations where it just pretty much locked up and I had to disassemble the whole deal to actually remove it so he could actually drive the car uh, without a brake well uh, we went just to do some footage for the 
for this video actually and unfortunately we actually broke an axle yeah like a real drift car you break axles we broke an axle now there you go we have an absolutely broken axle <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of hard to believe that you break an axle on a right hand car, but I guess on this particular level, level and the way it's getting butt kicked, it seems that it's doable.